we're going to make Italian pepperoni bread. Uh, so let's get started. First, um, this is the dough that I actually made for it. Now you can make this by hand or I actually went ahead and made it in my bread maker on the dough cycle. So I want to tell you the recipe to start off with. It is one cup of water, three cups of white bread flour, one teaspoon of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of active dry yeast. So I have my dough made. I'm just going to take out some of the air, punch it down, and roll it in a little bit of flour. Now what we're going to do is we actually just want to make a circle out of this until it reaches about three quarters of an inch in thickness. With my rolling pin, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, and then with my little tape measure. Okay, so we have our circle and we have about three quarters of an inch in thickness. The next thing that you're going to do is you're actually going to sprinkle on one teaspoon of ground pepper right on top of us. And try to put that on as even as possible all over that dough. And then what I also like to do is just to grind a little bit of pepper on top. Just use your judgment on that. The last thing that we're going to put on is actually one and a half ounces of sliced pepperoni, which I made really thin little pieces or slices. Now uh, you can also make this bread with dried venison and it really comes out uh, terrific. So take the um, pepperoni and what you're going to do is you're just going to sprinkle it evenly all over this. All over your bread. This is a really quick recipe and it's really great with soups or with olives or with Italian meal. And the next thing that we're going to do is, I'm actually going to just start rolling it up like a jelly roll. And I'm going to tighten it as I go along, try to keep it even. And just keep rolling it and tightening it, pulling it under with your fingers. Some little pieces fall out, just put them back in. Gotta tighten it up because I'm getting near the end. Uh, turn it around and then I'm going to get under there and seal it. I'm also going to just push on these sides to help seal them. And I'm going to pinch them just a little bit on the edges together and then push them in. Now the next thing that you're going to do is you want this to actually become 26 inches long. So just take the dough, a little bit of flour, and then just keep turning it. And as you're turning it, you are stretching it out. And it also helps to seal that bottom. And that is only 17 inches, so we want to just keep squeezing the bread, keep rotating it, twisting it under with our hands, because we want it to go to 26 inches. So I'm actually going to just start trying to stretch it now. This dough is quite elastic, so it really doesn't break for you. It should uh, give as you're working with it. 
and we got to go a little bit more here. One more, pulling it out a little bit. Okay, I think we got it. Just want to even out those ends so they're not larger than the rest. Okay. Now once you do that, you're actually going to just put an indentation with your hand in the middle of it and you're going to make it like an upside down horseshoe, like that. And then what you're going to do is you're really just going to twist the bread together. I'd like to do that over again. doesn't look right, just keep trying to do it. Now you just really want to just twist those ends. You want to seal them so when it bakes. Now if the pepperoni tears out of it a little bit, just try to patch it up with your fingers. And you want to seal off that, so I'm going to try to just push that together and crimp it together with my fingers. Now the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to put this on a heavily greased um, pan, and you're going to cover it with a towel till it doubles in size. Now once it doubles in size, you're going to bake it at 425 degrees, anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes. Also, take a little bit of flour before, as it's rising, and just put a little bit of flour on top of it. So it will look like this, till it becomes double in size. I went ahead and made one to show you, so we'll put that aside. And here you go. Came out really beautifully golden brown. It's a very light bread and it's very, um, uh, it has a nice crust to it on the outside. I'm going to cut um, a piece for it uh, to show you. What it looks like. And there you have it. You have pepperoni bread, or you can try it with dried venison, which also comes out just great. And you have a beautiful loaf of homemade bread. Give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.